This is a production of Cornell University. Hi, this is Frank Rossi for the Cornell Turfgrass Video Log. And we're here at the end of May talking about some lawn issues, particularly annual bluegrass and a lot of the broadleaf weeds you're seeing in your lawn. Number one, a lot of people are out spraying broadleaf weeds and you'll start to see them curl up in the landscape. Now you want to be really careful when you're treating for broadleaf weeds as many of your ornamentals have a lot of tender growth going on and that's very susceptible to herbicide injury so make sure you're using the amine formulation and of course you can find out uh, when the best time for that to use that is on our Cornell Turfgrass website uh, connecting to the forecast website. The other thing we're talking about and seeing on home lawns is annual bluegrass seed heads. Now you'll see the seed heads develop and this is the true winter annual form of annual bluegrass that'll produce these seed heads. And the issue is after that happens, you'll see a natural yellowing of some areas on the lawn. And that's simply because after the seed head is developed, um, you'll see a natural decline in the, in the uh, stand. That tiller is going to die off after it produces that flower. So um, keep in mind uh, when you're doing some weed control to be careful when you're using those herbicide products. And also if you see some yellowing happening in your lawn, it's likely related to annual bluegrass seed heads development and then the natural decline of the plants. This is Frank Rossi for the Cornell Turfgrass Video Log. This has been a production of Cornell University. On the web, at cornell.edu.